Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making purple and green geode-inspired resin coasters. In this video, I'm using resin by Deepon, and I'll leave a discount code in my description if you want to give them a try. After I mix my resin well for several minutes, I start to separate it into cups to add in my pigments. I have some purple tinted broken glass pieces and I just pour some into a small amount of resin. Then I take small pieces of amethyst crystal and I pour it into the same cup. And for my green set of coasters, I do the same with broken glass pieces and small pieces of white crystal. And I have these bags of crystals listed in my Etsy shop if you're interested in checking them out. The first pigment I'm going to be mixing in is Craft Resin's Mica Powder in the shade Lavender. Then I use this light purple shade of Mica Powder by Resin Pro. Next I'm using this beautiful green shade of Mica Powder by Craft Resin in the shade Olive. And I'll also have a 10% discount code to Craft Resin linked in my description. They have many wonderful mica powders and I also like to use their resin. And lastly is Craft Resin's Pearl White Mica Powder. Now I'm ready to start pouring into the molds and I start off with my broken glass pieces with crystals and pour it around the edges of the molds. I started off with my purple tinted glass and crystals and then used a silicone makeup brush to help push everything against the edge. And then I move on to the other four molds to pour in my white and clear glass and crystal pieces. And again, I use a silicone makeup brush to help push everything to the edge. I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles. I take my lavender pigmented resin and start to pour it right next to my glass and crystals. Then I take my lighter shade of purple and pour right alongside. And I pour clear resin directly into the center. Into my same cup of glass and crystal pieces, I add in Counter Culture's Blue Yonder Glitter to be my center detail. I start by pouring into the molds but end up using my wooden stick to help scoop up some of the glass pieces. And I go back with my purple pigmented resins and circle around the mold several more times. Then I repeat that process in the next four molds, starting off with my olive pigmented resin. And I pour my white pigmented resin right alongside. And again, I pour clear resin into the center. Then I go back with my pigmented resins and again circle around the molds. And I'm using the same cup to be my center detail as the purple coasters. Thank you. 
And here I am the next day demolding. I used an X-Acto knife to get rid of any lifted edges and I always do this before top coating to give my piece a beautiful domed edge. And if you're interested in the process of how and why we top coat, I'll leave a video linked above. I added a gold trim onto my green coasters and a silver trim onto my purple coasters, which I forgot to film, but I used editing markers and I'll leave them linked in the description. Here's the final product. Let me know in the comments below which set is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.